Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about how are we going to execute more than one JMX in the same pipeline. So thanks again to one of our subscribers Mabris, for asking this question on how to execute more than one JMX in the same pipeline and when I asked about what could be the business requirement for running multiple JMXs so he said there are there are chances where they might want to execute separate JMX files for every microservice for maintenance purpose and this again is more critical in more of the areas now into the performance engineering or into the SRE area so today we are going to see about how are we going to do or how are we going to execute more than one JMX in the same pipeline and I would thank you thank thanks the subscriber and every subscriber of our channel for keep on asking questions and with no further ado let's go to the video and before we go to the video this is me your son Shanmugam please do subscribe to our Little Sla YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet kindly like the video if you really like the video and comment your questions and feedback in the comment section and that keeps me and everybody growing thanks once again everyone and let's now go to the video so first i have a repository and how to create a repository or how to connect your azure devops with the github git hub or how to connect your azure repo with different tools like load runner or with jmeter or new load so we have discussed everything in our previous video so this video is completely going to be the video which we are going to see about how are we going to run multiple jmx in a single pipeline so let's go straight to the video and before that let me show you so let me go to the repos and here is the file so i'm going to just run this http request.jmx file i'm going to use it multiple times or any number of times which i want to run uh, during this test and now let's go back to the releases uh, so for that to create a new release we are, i'm going to the pipeline and then to the releases and here i'm going to create a new release so the new release is going to be multiple jmx and for that let me choose the empty job and let me first add the artifact so in this video so the first step is going to be first step is we are going to add the artifact in our Azure DevOps and before that in fact let me tell you I'm going to create a new pipeline then this is the second step which is adding the artifact in Azure DevOps and I'm going to choose the Azure repos as our artifact so I've chosen Azure Repos and under project I'm choosing Azure Repo JM which is a dedicated one for the JMeter scripts and testing and the source is going to be Azure Repo and the default branch is going to be the master and when it comes to the default version it's again latest from the default branch so in case if you are using a different branch you can always have this as a chance uh, as a option in case if you want to do a specific commit from a default branch say for example if you are running multiple test with different commits and if you want to run a particular commit you are always good to choose the commit from because I have you can see here I have have multiple commits during this or with this particular repository so I are in case if you want to just specify at the time of release creation even you can do that but for this scenario I'm going to just choose latest from the default branch and then I'm clicking on add so now we move on to the stage so here in stage we are going to create the agent job and then the command line script for the non GUI mode testing and then the release artifact so we will add all these three in this particular step I'm going to the stage and under stage uh, the agent job I'm not making any change in here anything related to the hosted windows or to the execution plan or anything and just to make sure that I have the artifact download as the Azure repo JM then let's click on the plus button and now I'm going to add the command line script to execute the test in the non GUI mode 
and under non GUI mode, so we are going to write the CLI command to run the test. So for that, I'm giving us jmeter hyphen n, which is the name, and then the hyphen t. So the test is going to be http request dot jmx, and then hyphen l is going to be the results dot jtl hyphen e hyphen o reports. So with this command, we can successfully run the test and we have already tested it. So for the working directory, let's choose the bin folder. So in case if you are choosing other than a bin folder, there are chances where it might not work because the JMeter is only targeted towards or only tagged towards the bin directory. So make sure you are choosing the bin directory and if, if in case if you choose any other directory, you might not get the test successfully completed and let's go to the control options i'm not going to make any changes here in case if you want to add any environment variables please feel free to add the environment variables so since i'm not adding anything here i'm just deleting it same for output variables so we are good now with the command line script so command line script is done let me so this is done and then the command line script is done sorry the command line script is done and now the release artifact so let's add the release artifact and let's let me search it for the release artifact and here i have got the published release artifact in case if you are doing it for the first time and if you have not yet installed please do go to the marketplace and install it from there and now let's make the changes in here so let me again have the bin folder in my location and then in the control options i'm not going to make any changes and then in the output variables are same so what i'm going to do now is let me first run this single test so let me again change the name here multiple jmx in one pipeline so the reason i'm going to do is in case if i'm adding multiple command line scripts and the upload release artifacts and if I'm getting a, an error I might not know which exactly is giving this error so it's always a best practice to integrate single or simple parts of your scripts into the test so that you can easily fix the issues whenever you get it done and this is always a good practice instead of adding everything and then trying to track down the errors it's always advisable because if you get an, any errors with the first setup you can fix it and then you can move to the next one and with that you can learn and you will know what exactly is failing so that you can fix the second or the next set of artifacts or the next set of tests and in case if this particular thing is working when you're running for the first time and if you're getting any errors for the second time so you can easily track down what exactly is happening with the second set and since there are like most of the scenarios you might not have a huge difference in the script or anything so it won't fail but this is again a best practice where it's always advisable to integrate them in part by part or in bit by bit so this one is done so this is for the first stage so it's for stage one i would say and now we'll have to do this for stage two and stage three so any number of stages i would like stage two and stage three so we'll, we'll just have two or three for this example so let me just save it click ok and let me create a release so this is going to be with stage one so let's keep it a stage one let me yeah so let me just give it a stage one and let me create the release one i'm going to start the test with the one set of jmx files and this is again to make sure that everything works fine So now the test has been completed successfully. So now we will again go edit the pipeline. And now this is going to be very simple because we are just going to <coughs> clone this task. So I'm just cloning this task and we have got the second set. And let me change this name to stage one or like whatever you want to keep. You can keep it up. So I'm just going to have it as stage one and the same everywhere and then 
this is going to be stage 2 and then it's going to be the same here so let me just remove this so this play name is going to be going to be the same so here there is one important change so I'm not going to add anything I'm just going to use the same script here but then there are two important things which we have to change so the first thing is we'll have to give a different name for the JTL file the results file and then we'll have to change the name for the reports so let me tell you so I'll tell you what is the error so in case in most of the scenarios if we are not giving the name or if you're not changing the name so let me show you what exactly happens if we are not changing the reports name and if we are giving the same name for the results and the reports so let me run the test and I will show you what exactly is happening because always we don't expect a happy flow so in some scenarios we might need to come across these scenarios so that it will be again a lessons learned and you will have a very good learning curve in fixing these issues rather than doing everything successfully and working everything in a good way. So yes, so here we have got the error. I will show you what exactly is happening. So here it tells us an error occurred and cannot write to the bin reports as the folder is not empty because you can remember that we have the same name in our previous report. So if you see here, it's the same name, which is reports. So what we will do now is let's change this to, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is it's going to be results one and this is going to be reports one. So same way let's come to the results 2 and it's going to be hyphen underscore results 2 and the reports is going to be underscore results 2 so now let's again save this and run run it and we will see what happens exactly and in fact this is how so this is again another reason for us to integrate things step by step and it's always advisable to keep on testing after you do it or again like to create a new release after every time you make a changes and it's always good to test it or do a unit test or do a integration test when you add anything to the scripts and everything let's wait for a few more seconds and see how does it work So now you could have seen, so in the previous test or in the previous release when we executed the test, we have got an error where it tells, uh, it told us that the folder is not empty. So that means we were using the same folder to upload the report and that's why it failed. So now in this scenario, everything went fine. So th this is the same way. So we can add any number of pipelines to the scripts and let's now go back to the release and we will see the results so that's the way to con confirm that everything works fine so let's go to the release here and then let me open the logs and under here let me download all the logs So now we have got the really results for both the tests. So here we have got reports one and here we have got reports two. So let's open the reports one and two in the second example. So I'm opening the reports one and here I have got the index.html which takes me through the entire results and reports. So this will definitely so in case if I want to have or if I want to just check the responses over time, I can just check it. And then if I want to check the throughput, so this is again a simple test, so you might not see a multiple results in here. So same way, if I go to the reports too, I can see the results. So same way, we can use these Azure DevOps successfully in a way that we can understand how does it work. And like I said, so like one of our subscribers asked like to test separate JMX files at every microservice. So this is again a best solution for running your test for maintenance purpose. So with that, we come to an end. 
thanks again for the subscriber and thanks everyone for subscribing to our channel and for watching this video. Until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.